Hello there and welcome. In this video we are going to continue our Just Buy journey and we are going to check how we can use Ajax to handle events. So by default Just Buy uses WebSocket as the communication protocol between the front end and the back end. And the advantage of WebSocket is that it allows the server to push data to the browser. But there may be applications where either we do not want or cannot use WebSockets for hosting limitations, for example, and this is where Ajax comes into basically the picture. <clears throat> so let's see how we can do it. Ajaxing.py. We import just by as JP and we create the hello function. We create our jp.web page, then for i in range 10, we create the jp.hello with the attachment to the web page, and then return the web page. And in order to disable WebSockets, we can use the just JP, the just be with the hello function and the WebSockets false. Let's save it and go ahead and run it. Ajaxing. Now, if we open up a browser and visit this page, you can see that these are the elements and we can click it. And in order to verify this, here is what we can do. So we can go with the Ctrl Shift I under the network tab. And basically, we can use the debugging tools. And yeah. This is how we can check whether it's using the appropriate one. And uh, yeah, uh, what we can use is uh, basically a page reload functionality in JustPy. So there may be situations when we want to periodically reload the page content for the user. And let's see this. So we create the web page from the JP web page. And the delete flag is going to be false. And the web page reload interval is going to be set to 2.5. Then what we would like to do is to have a count div, which will be a div which is attached to the web page and the classes are text center m4 p4 text white background blue 500 and we would like to have the font size set so style equals font size 200 pixels. And after that, we have to define an async increment counter with the start argument. And we say that the count divs counter is equal to start. And while true so this is going to be an endless or infinite loop count div counter plus equals one and count div text is equal to str count div counter and await async io sleep one we have to also import async IO <coughs> and 
and then we can use the start count counting function and basically we say that jp dot run task uh, increment counter 500 then reload and return the web page in this case we have to use the reload function and the startup is equal to start counting and the web sockets are false so if we go ahead and run this demo once again and then go back and refresh the page you can see that this is working so that was all i wanted to show you see you in the next one